Hello, Messy Church from uh, Mrs. Clent and uh, some people have already met him and uh, Benedict. We're going to make something now. Um, I'll show you. It's going to be a stained glass nativity picture and perhaps it doesn't look very good there. So what I'm going to do is just shine a light behind it and hopefully, oh, I don't know. When you stick it on your window, hopefully the light will shine through the paper and make, well, a stained glass effect. Um, that's what it's going to look like, hopefully. Um, you may have some better card than me. Mine's orange. You might have a better stable color. Let's have a look how we're going to make one. It's probably going to be a bit of a team effort with a couple of people in your family working together because some of the cutting is quite tricky. Um, putting the put, putting the tissue paper on is quite fun. I'll show you how we did it. Benedict isn't going to take part because a bear with paws is no good with glue or scissors for that matter. He's going to sit and watch. You're going to need a piece of card which has got um, the nativity picture on. You're going to need some bits of strips of tissue paper whoop, falling everywhere and a pair of scissors, um, some glue, I've got a prick stick and I'm going to use at one point a bit of crumpled up card. I'll show you what that's for. I'm just going to turn my light down a little bit because oh, that's better. I'm being blinded. What are we going to start by doing? We're going to start by cutting out this picture. The first little bit isn't too bad because all you have to do, I'm just going to put my board up here, all you have to do is cut Oh, it's so tricky to see, isn't it? All I'm going to do is cut around the outsides. If I keep it like that, I'm going to cut right around the outside, trying to stay on the lines if I can. It's not too tricky, this little bit. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to go up the other side. I'm going up the stable. I'm going to cut across the roof. I possibly you can see it that way. I'm not sure you can see anything actually. Across the roof and then above the stable is the star. Star out carefully. A little bit tricky the star. You might need a bit of help with this. Now the outside isn't too bad. I've nearly done the outside now. I'll show you. There we go. The outside isn't too bad. Cut that out quite easily. The inside is quite tricky. And this is where you might need some help. Um, the way I did it was I've got my piece of card and I've got a scrunched up piece of card. I wanted some blue tap, but I couldn't find any because I'm going to make a hole in the middle with either a pair of scissors or a pencil and I don't want to make a mark on the table and I don't want to hurt my finger so I'm going to put my scrunched up card or blue tack behind the picture it's just in the middle there and with my scissors I'm going to make you can see there a hole sort of in the middle to get the scissors through you might be able to see I've got a little hole there and then I'm going to very carefully put my scissors there they go inside the car and I'm going to cut up to the roof so you have a little look at that I've cut up to the roof and I'm going to cut down the stable right to I think that's Mary there and then I'm going to cut down the other side 
and to where well, I think that's Joseph. So I'm going to cut around the top. And oh, I think I'm cutting down to Joseph first. There we go. I cut down Joseph's bit here. I've still got the stable. And then I'm going to cut from the top of the stable. Ooh, that is a bit tricky. Down to where Mary is. Okay. So I've got, I've cut that bit now. The next bit is tricky, and I'm not going to try and do it on the screen. But what I did was I cut along the bottom here and I cut round Joseph. I didn't manage to cut out that bit and I didn't manage to cut out that bit either. I just left it. You might need somebody who's a really good cutter or an adult to have a go at that. It did take me a little bit of time. Have a look at what I managed to do. Here we go. So uh, there we go. That's what I managed to do. Um, you see my cutting out isn't brilliant, but I did try. Um, don't worry about the lines because you're not going to see them. We'll be sticking our paper on the lines. So I've got the side that we're going to see, no lines, and the side I'm going to stick on the colours. So they've got the lines. And let's see if this works. I'm going to tuck my star up there on my board. And I've got ooh, a couple of colours of stained glass. I've got green and a bit of orange. Before I stick any on with my glue stick, I'm going to stick um, round the stable and the star. And I'm going to put some glue on that Joseph and the manger with baby Jesus in and Mary. And I've put a real scrappy piece of paper behind here so that I'm not gluing on the table. Um, I'm not gluing on a nice piece of paper. I'm just going to hold it still. Oh, you've got to be careful. You might, again, this might be teamwork. You might need somebody to hold it and somebody else to do rather good gluing. I am glad Benedict isn't helping. He gets glue absolutely everywhere. See that? Got a big monkey piece there as well. See if I can get that a little bit better for you to see. So I put glue all the way around the outside and I put some on Mary and Joseph. That's all the hard bit done now. Let's put that on and whew, have a rest. Looking good. I'm going to start with a couple of long pieces and I'm going to stick. A long piece on one side and I'm going to see if I'm going to take it right across, right across Mary and Joseph to the other side and do a couple of long bits. Um, I've got some red actually. I'm going to do a red piece. Oh, I've got two pieces there. Do a, oh gosh, I've got an incredibly long bit. Don't need it that long. I'm going to put, let's put that up there. And I put another, put a red piece this time, I think, maybe crossways like that. Remember, this is the side with all the uh, cutting out marks on. I might do one more long piece. Uh, I got any other colours? Let me look. Benedict, move out of the way. Oh, we've got purple. Look. Oh, that's just a short piece of purple. That will do though. Where will I put it? I'm going to try a little bit on Joseph's head there. And I'm going to start covering up some of the gaps. Let's see. I thought I had. Oh, I've got some orange. I've got a little piece. Ooh, glue everywhere of orange here. Don't know where that should go. Oh, that might look. Hey, that fits quite nicely there. That two pieces. I thought that it was a long piece. Look, you can go right up to the top. Um, and so now, just a matter of thinking, where shall I put a piece? I'm going to put a piece there. And you just keep going. Uh, oh, 
that's a red bit maybe i'll put red behind uh babe jesus there he is there we go let's have a look at what it looks like so far if i take it off it's sticky there and uh oh it's coming on isn't it but you need to keep going until you fill in those gaps and it's quite fun really get a bit sticky i won't carry on doing that because you can do that so i'm going to put him there we go to one side and then here is the one that is um, finished and what you're going to do with that is well up to you if i find some blue tack i'll probably uh blue tack it to my window you can do it either way you can have it so people can see it as they pass by like that or if you stick the monkey monkey side onto the window you will be able to see the nice stein glass so you decide what you're going to do what i'm going to do is just put there we go put that there for a moment and i'm going to bring benedict back he's going to have a look there you are benedict and i'm going to ask him just have a think for a minute and a talk about what it might have been what it might be like on that night jesus was born i wonder if it was all stained glass and pretty what do you think we don't know whether it was a stable or whether it was just a room out the back maybe a cave if there are animals in there I wonder what it was really like messy <laughs> like messy church yeah a bit dirty maybe probably wasn't the place mary would choose to have her baby are you making your nativity scene have a chat and think about what you might have smelt what you might have heard what colors might you have seen at night in a room or a stable where this little baby this light of the world was born let me take it off my board move benedict out the way and let's just see what this one looks like this is the night that light came into the world second light really the son of god and his light shone through that baby oh see some of the colors well i hope you enjoy making your nativity scene that you don't get too gluey and messy and that you do enjoy your christmas this year celebrating jesus the light of the world so i enjoy doing that thank you for watching and benedict will help me put it up bye folks